welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May, and this is the announcement for Lug's new Winter Edition Mystery Box. They just announced it yesterday. Uh, there was an email that was sent out early in the day, and then they also posted it on Facebook a few times. So everyone should have received their notice by now. Um, I'm a little bit late to it because I was completely gone out of town yesterday, and I was running around and did not have time at all to read anything about it until now. So um, but like I said, the emails got out, so at least this time they gave us a little bit more time than they did with the fall box, where they only gave us like 24 hours uh, before they actually released the, pro the box for sale. So now they've given us the weekend to look at it and mull it over, which is great. Um, we don't need a lot of turnaround time, but we certainly probably should have at least a few, a couple of days. So this is much, much better. So, um, so if, let's just read quickly. Uh, so it does say uh, winter box. It doesn't first of all say holiday box. So I think in the past it has said holiday, which usually you know, indicates it's more Christmassy, and it has been. I think the very first Christmas box or the first holiday box, it was very, very much a Christmas feel. There were Christmas cards, like greeting cards that were in there. There was a huge nutcracker blanket. Um, there was some uh, other regular accessories that were in Buffalo Check Red. Uh, I forget what else there was, but there was there was definitely like a holiday theme, like a holiday feel to it. Uh, the last year, 2021, uh, was not super holiday-ish. Uh, it, it didn't really have like a winter feel, but I think that when they sort of put together randomly, I think that was like a really screwy box. I don't think that was the initial intention of the box. I feel like it wasn't well curated because they think they sort of put random things into it because that's all they had because of their, because of all the shipping issues uh, that they were having at the time. So I feel like this one though is going to be much more uh, appropriate to the theme and they're not going to probably just bring in random fillers so I think that quote surprise thing in there is going to be the thing that's not an actual lug product in other words we're not going to buy it in any format later on and sometimes they do that so like I said in the 2021 holiday box there was a rummy game um, and for some freaky reason it was in um, it was like in a, in a different it wasn't even in a holiday print it was the wildlife black print uh, in a bento box and the game was sort of folded inside and that was sort of like the special sort of treat um, and it, so it wasn't something you could actually purchase necessarily through lug it was just sort of like a special offering a special gift for anybody who actually bought the box so I feel like there's gonna be something like that as well don't know what's gonna be obviously but I think that's more what it's gonna be when they talk about the surprise now it also could be that there's something like a flipper like the newer edition of the flipper coming out I don't know or something like that uh, was there a bag called the flip I don't know uh, or a wallet called the flip that I don't remember but there was a flipper it was like a little jewelry little packable jewelry thing so that hasn't you know they haven't brought anything like that out in a while maybe they're re rejigging that and releasing that for this it's possible um anyway so that being said um it, at least you get to choose between the two prints this time so if you absolutely hate the tartan you can get the other one uh if you are a huge tartan lover like me uh then you're probably gonna get this box <laughs> but at the very least it looks like one item will be in that print so if you're looking at this uh at the box i guess let's just look at the box real fast here uh you've got two different colors sorry two different prints on here You've got the tartan, which we all know already. It's been out for a little while. A lot of things have been released in that print. Um, and then you've got this new thing right in the middle. So that's going to be a whole other print that, we, that will be probably in the box as well. So if you are ordering the holly box, this is the print you're going to get, this middle one. If you're ordering the tartan box, you're going to get the tartan plaid, at least one item in it, in the box. Now, will it be something that's already been released? I don't. Thinks, I don't know. It might be a bag that has already come out, but not in these prints. So it like it won't be the Sonata. I don't think you're going to get the Sonata because um, everyone's already got the Sonata in the tartan. So they're not going to do that. But it might be. I don't know. I'm just I'm just shooting just shooting blanks here. Just shooting stuff out in the air. Maybe, for example, like a tempo. And the tempo might be in these in a regular fabrication, for example. So if you order the holly box, you're going to get it in the holly print. If you order the, order the tartan, you will get it in the tartan print, but it'll be a bag that maybe already exists but hasn't been released in these prints um, or in the fabrication, or it'll be a bag that we've never seen ever being released for the first time in the box, and these are the prints that we're going to see it in. And sometimes these are exclusive to the box. In other words, you'll never be able to purchase it outside the box. And other times, you know, we might see it, you know, a little bit later on. So we don't know until we get it, but for those of you who are unfamiliar with boxes, that's kind of roughly how it works. Um, okay, so let's read and see what it says. Actually, wait, hang on. There's more pictures of the side here. 
Okay, so it doesn't really do much on the side. I was hoping that maybe they would give you more information on the side. Sometimes they like leave like little sayings and things like that. Uh, but this one doesn't seem to have anything. It looks like it's just print all the way around, which by the way is very cool and very, very fun and festive. Um, yeah, I like, I'm actually gonna like this box. Um, if, if anyone knows me at all, I actually like the lug box, like the literal physical cardboard box. Um, I am totally, totally into the boxes. I could, I would buy the boxes just, you know, like for a couple of bucks or whatever it is, just because they make great storage boxes and they're so pretty and they're really durable and they're, you know, shiny. And so anyway, so there we go. So that's the box. Now let's just read what it says. So it says it's the most wonderful time of the year uh, at hashtag, sorry, hat not at hashtag lug life box time lug life box winter edition will be available for sale monday december the 5th Dece uh, at 12 p.m eastern standard time and once again the same little uh disclaimer here important this lug life box cannot be purchased alongside other items please do not add any other items to your cart at checkout and the reason for that is because i believe they're shipping the box out in a very different fashion than the regular inventory in fact it might even be done at a whole different location it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if they put all of the lug box items in a whole separate location brought in a whole different staff and had a whole different completely manual system where they just put everything into the box by hand with humans and put labels on it by hand with humans and then ship it out separately um, from, a, from a potentially different location because any of the problems they're having right now seems to be uh, because of the new warehouse and because it's a third party and they don't have a lot of control over it. So I think in order for them to be able to get this box out in time, they may actually be doing this you know, with a, with a, with a separate group of people in a different location. Now, uh, they did reveal at some point, Lug did say something about like when people were asking whether this box was coming out because it was so close on the heels of the, of the fall box. They were wondering if maybe this winter box wasn't going to happen because it was what, three weeks ago that the fall box came out. So it's entirely possible. You know, we all thought, okay, well, are they going to be able to get the winter box out in time? Uh, but it's, but what Lug had said was we are, we are planning to put it out, but we will only put it out if we can guarantee that the box will arrive at your door before Christmas. So They've obviously done whatever they have to do, whatever it was that they've had to, you know, organize uh, in order to guarantee that this box will make it to us before Christmas. Now, um, the fall box, for those of you who have had any delays at all, wasn't necessarily because of Lug not doing what they needed to do at their end. There was a massive snowstorm in Buffalo, uh, New York. So for anybody who lives in the States, if you have a package coming from Canada, at least to Southern Ontario, which is where the warehouse is, it has to funnel through one way station in Buffalo before it goes out to the rest of the United States. And unfortunately, the week that the fall box went out, uh, Buffalo, New York got completely, completely slammed with like six feet of snow and they were pretty much buried for about a week. So it was just crappy timing that the lug boxes all showed up in Buffalo right as the storm was, was, was coming in. So anybody in the States had to wait a little bit longer. I think you guys had to wait another week before I think the boxes started showing up more consistently. Um, and anybody actually in, in, in like the Southern part of Southern Ontario, uh, who got also slammed by the snow also had to wait a little bit longer, but luckily anybody sort of North of where the snow was and, you know, across the country seem to have gotten their parcels pretty quickly. I think everyone got it within a few days uh, of it being shipped. So it does. So let's say it ships on the Wednesday. You know, there were people, I think, getting it on Friday, getting it on the next Monday. So if things are like the fall box, then this winter box shouldn't take too long to get to you. Uh, hoping, you know, like, you know, hoping that there's no other, you know, things like, like I said, snowstorms or anything like that, that will get in your way. Um, so fingers crossed, knock on wood, whatever it is, uh, this box should get to you before Christmas. So if this is a, a, a Christmas present for someone, have a plan B just in case, but uh, you, there's a pretty decent chance that this box will get to that person before Christmas. Um, and worst case scenario, just tell them, look, it's coming, just you're going to get a Christmas present like maybe a week or so afterwards. And you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world either. So if you were planning on this as a present for someone else, um, you know, and a lot of people do because it's beautifully boxed and it's packaged and it's gifting, uh, it's gift ready. So if you like have a sister that you want to get something for or a mom or a best friend who's clear across the country, clear across 
across the country. You don't have to pay for extra shipping. You don't have to do anything. The only thing you'll have to probably do is maybe send an e-card or something like that to say that this is coming and Merry Christmas or whatever it is. Um, but it's gift ready. So you don't have to do anything. It's amazing if you can, if you want to spend that much money on someone. Um, but if it's a gift for you, uh, you need it for Christmas <laughs> for you, um, you should still be able to get it. So there we go. So if anyone's still worried about shipping and all that from Lug, I feel like this is going to be separate from all the other problems they've had. So uh, let's read. Okay, here we go. Let's, read, keep, let's keep reading. Um, so about what's the inspiration for this box? In a word, winter. The Lug Life uh, box is bundled with joy. The perfect preparation for, this, for the colder months ahead. Whether you're trudging through the snow or whether you live in, so where you'll never see a single flake fall from the sky. Join us as we get into the winter spirit. Okay. Um, make your pick. Holly, sorry, winter holly or tartan plaid. Winter holly, that's what it's called. Okay. Uh, the holly box has a neutral vibe with a golden touch. And then the plaid box is classic and colorful as your favorite flannel. Uh, either way, you can't go wrong. Uh, I'm going to come back to all that in a minute. Uh, the contents are a mystery. Like usual, this is a mystery box. The only thing that we will say is that both the holly and the plaid versions include some exclusive bags and prints that you've never seen before, plus a hidden surprise that you'll absolutely flip over. That's really interesting. Um, okay, and then it's $149 US or $179 Canadian. And then it says, when will this ship? Where are we here? Uh, this ship, sorry, this ship, this box will sh uh, begin shipping on Wednesday, December the 7th. So that's only two days after it launches. So that's pretty good. Uh, don't be left with the cold. Come back on December the 5th, 1230, sorry, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to shop. Uh, for more questions, for, for, for more questions about Lug Live box, go to the frequently asked questions at the bottom. And then it does say Lug Live boxes are final sale, non-refundable. This item cannot be combined with any other offers and or discount coupons. Okay, so... If you haven't a coupon codes, if you haven't have a coupon, if you haven't have a code of any kind from anywhere, you cannot use it against this box. The only way you can get any kind of a discount at all is if you happen to have some Lug Life reward points that you've been accumulating, and you may have enough to actually redeem them for a dollar coupon back. And so usually when you redeem uh, your gift, sorry, your points, you get it in the form of a gift card. So that you can actually use because it's just a dollar amount. But you can take that when you go and check out. So there's going to be a little part that says apply coupon codes or whatever it is click on that and then a little field will pop up and then that's where you enter your gift card so you happen to have a gift card from other things or if you're redeeming points you can take that amount off of the total but that's the only way you can get a discount otherwise you can't use coupon codes and you cannot use coupon codes from previous boxes in order to get a, 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 a reduction on the price of this um okay so Okay, okay, let's go. Let's look at the measurements really fast. I'll go through the little thing here and then I'm going to go back and talk about this. So, measurements. Okay, that's a big box. So, 27 inches, I believe it's definitely bigger than the fall box and the is it bigger than the adventure box as well? Um, I feel like this is a big box. I feel like 27 inches is quite big because I think before it was 16, or sorry, it was 15 and 16 and 5. This is 27. So, this thing is massive. Like, what's 28 inches? Holy cow. Is that like. Is that like two feet? Wait, how many? Okay, there's 12 inches and a foot, right? So yeah, that thing is two feet wide because it's over two feet wide because that's 24. Yeah, right? 20, yeah, sorry. I'm just getting a little confused here because I'm, I'm not always completely with it when it comes to math and measurements. So 12 inches is, is a foot, two inches. Yeah, so this is more than two feet wide. This is huge. Um, uh, because it's so big, I'm very curious to see what's going to be in it. Uh, I'm a little worried and I'm also very intrigued. Um, I think that might be the biggest box I've ever had. Um, this is gonna, yeah, that's, that's a huge box. So 16 inches high, four inches deep, and it's still only five pounds. So whatever it is, it's going to be light. Um, I really, really hope they don't put another, like a, like a blanket in there. I really don't want a blanket. Um, I have a ton and if you wanted one, you could have just bought one for way cheaper earlier in the year. Um, I guess a, a plaid one would be kind of nice. Uh, but I don't know. Again, you know what? I don't, I just don't want to spend that much money. And I have actually plaid, you know, blankets all over my house, uh, that I bought from elsewhere. So I'm really, really hoping it's not a blanket, but you know what? They have done a blanket once before they did the blanket, uh, like the cuddle throw two Christmases ago. I don't see why they would do that again. 
Um, I mean, they might, but lo so far Lux has been really good at not repeating the contents of a box. Um, so it's not like, well, this is the, the 2022 version of the holiday box from two years ago. Um, so far they have not done that. They've been pretty good at doing very unique items in every single box. They haven't done any repeat of anything so far. So I don't see why they would turn around and stop that this time. But you know what? You never know. But um, I would very, I'd be very curious to see why this box is so so stinking big um okay so anyways but it's light like so it's not going to be like a bunch of vegan leather stuff um okay and then oh okay so the features it says nothing and unfortunately this is the exact same thing they said in the adventure box so here it just says packed with favorites that started all that's a lie that's not it that's stuck from way back they really need to update this so um okay anyways so um for those of you who don't know it usually comes with at least one item in the box that is reflective of the outside of the box. Now, not always, um, usually, especially in this case, when they actually talk about it, there's gonna be at least one item. So if you if you order the Holly box, um, whatever it is that you get inside will have this type of print. Now, will it be laid out exactly like that? I don't know. Will it be like the, you know, the, the print that tightly sort of, you know, pushed together? Will it be exactly like that? I don't know. But you'll definitely see elements of what you see in this print on your bag. And because it did say something about it being plain, what did it say here? So, uh, la 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 la. <laughs> yes, the Holly box has a neutral vibe with a golden touch. So again, neutral, I think for a lot of people, you know, if you are someone who doesn't like a lot of color and a lot of print, the neutral is like a black. So I get a feeling you're gonna get a black bag with the black, I think with the, sorry, with the main part of the bag black, and then you're gonna get some little gold touches with these little elements. Now, again, because like I, I don't know what the scale of the print is gonna be, but if hopefully you like these little these little these little sort of shapes and things um because you'll definitely see some of that at least reflected in the print in what way i don't know yet but if there's any indication if you look at the flan sorry the, if, at, at the uh, tartan there the tartan plaid it looks identical to what the actual tartan plaid looks like so you know uh, if they're going to have rep representation here, it's very likely that the, the quote, holly bag, the, the winter holly bag will look almost exactly like that. Um, and then the tartan will obviously look like that. So like the, the tartan that you see there. So, um, so you get to choose now you can, so when you choose, like when you go to check out, it'll, it'll, there'll be two little boxes and one will say holly print and the other one, sorry, holly, winter holly. And the other one will say tartan plaid and whichever box you want to choose, you click on it. And that's what goes into your cart when you go to check out. So. Uh, and there's some people who buy two. And if you buy, if you are thinking of buying two because you can't decide, just be aware that sometimes there are redundancies. So let's say there's like a smaller item or two inside. They might actually end up being the exact same color, the exact same print, and you might end up having two of them. So just be aware of that, um, that you that you are going to get some redundancies for sure. Um, now, obviously, the other, you know, the thing that comes in that one print, you'll get one of each print. Uh, and you might get one of, you know, like, like two different prints if you order other things. But uh, sorry, if there are other things, Things in the box but sometimes there are definitely things that are the exact same color between both boxes so just bear that in mind um okay so $150 so it's not a crazy expensive box um I think the most expensive box I've ever had was 200 and something or was it 200 Canadian um I think 700 179 is not the cheapest box they've ever had but it's not the most expensive box they've ever had so that being said are we going to get anything like vegan leather I don't think so. Even if it is, it's not going to be very big. The main bag will most likely not be one because I think it's too I think it's too cheap, um, and it's too light. Uh, it's a five pound box. Vegan leather tends to be quite heavy, uh, so you're not, probably not going to get the main thing being vegan leather. The other reason why I say that is because they got burned really really hard when they did make the main bag a vegan leather bag. Um, they got so creamed because so many people at the time so they didn't like it and I don't think they're ever going to go back and do that again because if you are a vegan leather fan lover you're going to love it if you are not a lover of it and you absolutely can't stand it you will be beyond livid uh, and they've already proven that many, you know, once like I said at least before so I don't think they're going to make that mistake again so those of you who are wishing for like a matte luck something you're probably not going to get it uh, whatever it is is either going to be the same fabrication same fabrication we know and love or a whole new fabrication that we haven't known about yet because it's possibly going to get debuted in this box so 
Um, okay, so uh, most of the time, like I said, there's going to be one large item, sometimes two medium items, and then a few little smaller items. Now, they also mentioned that there's a, there's a little surprise for us. I don't know what that means. There's a hidden surprise, so that'll be kind of fun to see. Um, but you know what? There's, there's definitely going to be a lot of stuff in this one um, because I think... They, I think they really do try to make the winter box extra special. Uh, the first time they did, they did, they did a really, really nice job. The second time was kind of meh, but that's because they were going through some major issues and were having supply chain problems. So that box kind of got shoved together really quickly, and I don't think a whole lot of thought went into it. Um, but generally, the I mean, like the last two boxes, so the adventure box, they did a really excellent job putting that one together. I thought it was perfect, uh, and I thought the fall box was actually really good as well. So the past two boxes, they've actually stopped and taken their time and made sure that it is the best box they could put out and they didn't just sort of throw random crap in it and make it sort of weird um there seems to be a good running theme through most of them and they did that in the very beginning as well the first two boxes three boxes i think were the amazing uh and then it got weird during the pandemic for all sorts of reasons but they i think they've kind of gotten back on track now as far as what you're going to get um the value of the box for those of you who are not sure usually it's about 50 percent of the value of the box so if you're paying 179 supposedly the retail value of all the contents of the box will be around you know 380 360 to 400 dollars roughly is what they're you know is, a, is what they have said in the past is that true always Eh, hard to say because they used to throw in a lot of sort of random things that you couldn't buy so there was no dollar amount you could put on it because lug didn't have a value on it um but you know what uh, i have done a few of these boxes now um and they're they usually are a good value uh you definitely are going to get a lot of stuff for your buck it's just whether or not you like the stuff that you're getting does it have you know but it, but the street value if you will is pretty good so whatever you know whatever the retail value is um, you're definitely getting more stuff for the same price than you would if you bought everything regular price. Um, so anyways, we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good is my sense. Um, and I'm hoping that whatever the thing is that comes in the print that you see in the box will be something that's really useful, not something that's really niche. Uh, and they, they, they've done that a few times where you're like, Okay, I don't know when I'm going to use this bag. It's lovely, but there are only so few things that you can really kind of get, you know, get get this box or sorry, this bag into your life for. So I'm hoping that they're able to find something that's a little bit more daily applicable. Um, so that being said, I want to know if you're getting one. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm very tempted. I swore that I probably wasn't going to buy any more because I don't need any more stuff. Um, but I gotta tell you the, the, the tartans are really calling to me. I haven't ordered anything in the, in the tartan plaid yet. It is a print that I absolutely adore. Um, but I don't know. I don't need a lot of stuff anymore. So if I do get it, it's going to be out of just fun and, I, I'm just going to have to be prepared to get to sell all of it. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to think about this one. I don't know, but I am on the fence. I'm like, this is 50 50. The box, the, the fall box, I was pretty almost guaranteed probably not going to get and I end up not getting it. Um, obviously, I would have done an unboxing by now if I had um, this one. I'm not sure. So if I get it, there's going to be an unboxing. If I don't, then it just means I didn't get one. Um, but I want to know if you're getting one. And I want to know what you think as well. Those of you who did order the fall box, um, let me know, you know, how you felt about that one and, you know, whether that has inspired you to buy this box or whether it's kept you from buying any more in the future. Um, I want to know if any of the previous boxes are influencing your choice to make uh, buying this one today. And also, which one are you getting? If you are going to get one, are you going to get the holly or are you going to get the plaid? I'd be very, very curious. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to get the plaid because I think the plaid's done quite well this year for Lug. Um, but I know there are a ton of people who love black and gold as well. So anyways, so I would love to know what you have to say. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and that's it. So there you go. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.